Hey guys, and welcome back to another extremely motivating cleaning video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a ton of major decluttering. We are going to be doing a ton of deep cleaning. I mean some serious deep cleaning. This should be all the motivation you need to tackle your to-do list. So I really hope you guys join me while we get stuff done. First, we're going to start in my master bathroom. We are working on another project in there. We are actually painting our shower, believe it or not. So that will be in this Tuesday's video when I post all of my DIY Transformation Tuesday type of videos. But in this video, we are going to get this bathroom spick and span. We are going to clean it from top to bottom, literally. toothbrushes as you can see were in desperate need of some deep cleaning there was way too much gunk on there it's quite embarrassing but what I like to do is dip them in mouthwash I will swirl them around for 30 seconds and this kills a lot of the bacteria that's on them and then I will go in with a Clorox wipe and wipe down the like non bristle part of the toothbrush and this really gets it nice and clean I also try to make sure that it's not near our toilet which now that we have a toilet its own separate room in the bathroom that really helps but otherwise we have little covers that we put on our toothbrushes to keep it away from that and of course we replace our toothbrushes when we're sick things like that um, I think a toothbrush is something that you would want to keep clean I also wiped down all of our like face wash moisturizer the baby's you know body wash that I use just wipe that all down with a Clorox wipe as well I tried dusting our blinds at first and it just was pointless this is a very huge window as you can see it's like almost the size of me so I decided to just take the blinds down and clean them outside 
It was interesting. I'd never done that before, but it was actually really easy to take them off and put them back on. So trust me guys, if I can do it, you can do it too. It was time to deep clean the baby bath toys so I just put them in some water and vinegar and let them soak for a little bit and then I made sure that they were completely dried off before I put them back in the little toy bin. Next, I am deep cleaning the toilet area in our bathroom. I used the rest of my Clorox wipes and I really hope my husband can find some more. He, as a part of his business, brings people that type of stuff so he should be able to find some. But yeah, it just had to be done, you guys. And then I am out of toilet bowl cleaner, so I used Comet instead and I think it worked perfectly fine for cleaning the inside of the toilet. And then I just used a bunch of Clorox wipes to really deep clean this toilet. I was afraid to use them, so I hadn't cleaned the toilet in a while and it was bad, you guys. It was really embarrassing and gross in there. So not only do I do it on the toilet, but I also wipe down the walls, baseboards, and floors with the Clorox wipes. These types of areas in your bathroom, like the little closet where your toilet is, there's a name for that, I'm sure. They get really smelly, especially if you have a bunch of boys like I do. So using a Clorox wipe in the whole area just makes such a difference. This shower caddy was here when we moved in and it is pretty old looking and it was definitely pretty dirty and gross, but a little baking soda goes a long way, you guys. I just poured this, some baking soda in the tub with water, let it soak for a little while and it makes a huge difference. You guys will see most of the gunk comes off. There's a little bit of rust on it that wouldn't come off and so I do think we're going to have to replace the shower caddy but I feel a lot better about using it for now because you know it's perfectly fine and it's very clean. Now we are deep cleaning our blinds. All you need for this is some warm water, soap, and a rag. I just scrubbed it down and then I hosed it down and let it dry in the sun. It was a nice day. I would definitely recommend doing this on a nice sunny day, or at least a day that's just not raining. <laughs> but yeah, there is so much guys that you can do with just typical household products. If I have learned anything, I thought I would leave this in because how cute does he look? That's my oldest playing out there. But if I've learned anything during this pandemic, it is that 
we need to just stay stocked up on the essential things, especially when it comes to cleaning, just stocked up on vinegar, baking soda, dish soap, toothbrushes, you know, rags. You don't need all the fancy popular products, although they are nice and I'm not saying I will never buy them again, but a little vinegar and water in a spray bottle goes a long way. You don't need a bunch of paper towels. You know, those things are in short supply right now, but do we really need those things? What we really need is toilet paper, at least I do, but all of those other things that we don't necessarily need. You can save so much money and just using much simpler products and it's actually a lot better for you. So I am reminding myself of that as I tell you guys. So now I am just scrubbing down the caddy and it just came off so easy. Like I barely had to scrub. It all came off extremely easily. to get to some decluttering if you don't know we recently moved into this house it's been about a month or so so we've definitely been here for a little bit but there are still a few boxes it takes quite a while to get fully set up in a house especially with a bunch of kids so I hadn't really gotten to the stuff in my closet yet and I thought this would be a perfect time to go through some of my stuff and give some things away that I know I'm not going to use. Touch every single thing and you know decide if I really need it. Now I really should declutter these scarves but I couldn't bring myself to do it you guys. I need to go through a season and see what I'm wearing and then I will allow myself to declutter those scarves. It needs to be done, there's way too many, but I just couldn't do it at this point. Shoes, I felt like I could do those, what I am now thinking of as witch shoes, I did decide to get rid of. At first I was like, oh, but I could wear them for like a witch costume. No, if you think about that you could wear it as a costume, just say no get rid of it. First of all, when am I, as a mother of three, ever going to a costume party? Second of all, why would I ever wear those crazy high heels? I have weak ankles. I don't know. It just, none of it makes sense, yet I always hold on to them. So finally let those go. This box was a little bit emotional and difficult for me to go through. These are the clothes that I fit into before I had my three-year-old, and I still do not fit into them. I do have a almost 10 month old now, so I was pregnant again after that. And I have been working out and losing weight and I'm really proud of myself, but I just don't fit into these clothes yet. And it makes me kind of sad, but I'm not going to get rid of them just yet. There are a few things like those shorts. They were probably way too short, even when I was you know, a few sizes smaller. That onesie pajama thing though, I'm keeping that, I'm rocking that eventually. I wish I could fit into that during this quarantine time. It would be a great quarantine outfit. So I am getting rid of a few things in here, but for the most part, I'm going to keep these clothes. I'm gonna put them in a trash bag because it takes up less space than a box. And I'm gonna put them in the corner of my closet and one day I am will fit back into these clothes. I know I will. That crop top, that crop top, I think it's time I just gave that to my niece or something. I'm not wearing crop tops even when I lose weight. It's just not happening. So <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to get really real with myself. This shirt was actually my little sister's. I stole that from her and I would give it back. Not really. I would still keep it. It has a hole in it. So I'm just going to throw it away. Um... <laughs> She stole clothes from me. 
all the time. So she deserves it. No, just kidding. Anyway, so that dress was what I wore when I had my first son after I gave birth to him when I went home. It's very sentimental to me, and I don't know if I'll ever wear it again, but I just can't bring myself to get rid of it. What do you guys do with those type of clothing that are just sentimental to you? Do you just keep them? I mean, it's not like I have a ton of sentimental clothing, or do you take a picture of it? What do you do? Uh, that jacket is also very sentimental to me because my husband bought it for me when we were dating, so it just reminds me of that time. I may wear that jacket again, though. I'm not sure. But, yeah, just what I'm thinking as I'm going through all these clothes, just hoping that one day I will fit into them again. So now I am going to bag up these shoes, this mirror, these few clothing items that I am going to give away. I'm going to throw away all these boxes, take them apart and throw them away. And then I'm going to put all of those bags and everything into my closet. bedroom is in serious need of a makeover and I do plan on doing that sometime soon hopefully soon but we're not jumping into buying any new furniture or any major decorations or anything it's very expensive purchasing a home so we're just happy to have this home so for now I'm just going to try to keep our bedroom clean and organized or at least get it that way and then we'll worry about decorating it I would like to get a king size bed and a nice bed frame and all that stuff I did have those lamps they were by our bed and I spray painted them black and I just still was never happy with them so I do think I'm going to try to sell those or give those away I might keep the shades though because I do like those however they're just so big they took up so much space Okay, now it's time to go through my makeup. I already decluttered my makeup majorly, but I don't wanna declutter it too much. I went through a phase where I bought a ton of expensive makeup, and I want to use that makeup. I don't buy tons of makeup anymore, and I just wanna use what I have, and I don't wanna just get rid of it for the sake of getting rid of it. So we have a nice size bathroom, but we don't have like a big closet to put all of these types of things in. So I just put them in these bins and then I'm going to put them in my closet. We have his and hers closets, my husband and I, and there is really plenty of room in my closet for this type of stuff. I don't use these hair ties as much as I probably should, so I'll just put them up there and I also have like a ton of lip products I did go through those and picked out a few that I would like to use I may end up getting rid of some of those because they probably do get gross after a while but I thought I'd just keep them for now then I have an extra makeup sponge that I will definitely use eventually that little makeup bag has some just travel stuff like travel dry shampoo and hairspray so that's always good to have on hand and then that little it was like a knockoff Fitbit 
I decided to get rid of that. Those um, temporary permanent eyelashes are so painful to take off that I've just decided it's not worth it at this time, but I can't bring myself to get rid of them. This makeup organizer I don't use. I just keep the makeup that I use on a daily basis in a makeup bag. I try to only have that amount of makeup that will fit in a makeup bag at one time, except for like these extras that I just don't wanna get rid of. So I just didn't really see the point of this makeup organizer anymore, so I'm going to give it away. I think this tray is absolutely beautiful, but it is a super big pain to clean and I've realized that for me personally, if something is difficult to clean, I don't like to put it out and I honestly just don't want to keep it. So I'm going to give it away to someone who would appreciate it more. Then I had just a bunch of organizational bins that you guys saw that I'm excited to use in future organizing projects. Now it's time to move on to putting everything away in my closet. So I did put those blue bins up on the shelves. I still need to get all the stuff out of that box, unpack that box, get my shoes kind of organized. I right now am very low key with my clothing because my weight has fluctuated so much recently. I'm just super low key about it, but I would like to kind of dress up and get more into my personal style again. I truly do love clothing. You might be surprised because it probably doesn't look like it, but it is something I've always been into. So one of these days I'd like to get back into it and that means having a really organized closet. I tried on some shoes, it's so sad. I just got those shoes for my birthday for my sister not that long ago and they just don't fit. That's another thing I've struggled with with having babies is I guess my shoe size has changed and I so I just don't know what it is for any given shoe and online shopping it just makes it difficult i don't know it's a struggle you guys so i'm gonna have to give away some shoes that i love just because they don't fit but i don't want to keep them in my closet if they don't fit you know what i mean like i can't wear them so why have them cluttering up my closet hiding things that i actually can wear making it difficult for me to figure out what i should wear that day because i have a bunch of things that i cannot wear so I'm going to get rid of them even though it's hard to do, but you just got to do what you got to do, right? <laughs> still need to organize the clothing by type and probably give some of it away but I got tired you guys so I'm done with this closet for now <laughs> 
Next up, I'm going to work on our back door slash laundry area. I need to dust where all of our toilet paper is, our good old toilet paper stash. This door is so dirty and you will see why in a minute, but it definitely needs to be cleaned. I also just want to declutter the washer and dryer and really give the washer and dryer a deep clean you guys this was so satisfying i never realized how satisfying it would be to have such a clean washer and dryer mine were particularly dirty but yeah it just feels so good i actually kind of feel like doing laundry sometimes kind of <laughs>
what I like to do to get rid of the mildewy stain that you can sometimes get in your washer is just put a bunch of baking soda in it and then run the clean cycle and that usually does the trick. This built-in area is the catch-all in our house. I absolutely hate it. I am already always struggling to keep it clean. 
but that is the little bin for my oldest to just keep his computer for schooling, online schooling, his books for reading, his charger, all that in there. He's also not allowed to have his cell phone on him at all times, so we keep that in there as well. And then I decided to just go ahead and organize this drawer. When we moved in here, I just literally poured some stuff into this drawer, so I thought that I would take some time, throw away a lot of the trash put some of the stuff up in our office and only have things down here that we will actually use like markers pens some electronic type stuff a lint roller things like that Alright guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like if you enjoyed it. That really helps out my channel. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already. I post motivating cleaning videos every Saturday morning and also DIY transformation type videos on Tuesdays. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and definitely click that little bell so it will notify you when I post videos. That's how I keep up with all my favorite YouTubers. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.